What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. Welcome back to the channel. Man, today I got this really, really great question. I wanna read it to you guys. So this one is from Kilo Parowek, right? Hey, how's it going, buddy? <laughs> Yeah, some of you guys, it's not the first time you ask questions and I make videos answering the, those questions for you. So, hey, listen, keep them coming. Uh, thank you very much for the question. Um, okay, so, Hong, question. How you will measure that you achieve good skill level in wrestling? In BJJ, Judo, you can rate your skill level based on belts. I know it's not exact sometimes, but in wrestling, hmm. Man, that's a insane question. And I mean insane in a good way because it, it really had to force me to think about it. Okay, so in Judo and in BJJ, you have the belts, uh, you know, but the belts aren't always representative of the person's actual skill level. Because sometimes you guys, you guys, you have guys like me, uh, I've been a blue belt, well, I did BJJ for six years, uh, and I haven't done BJJ for the past six because I've been doing judo. But I'm um, like, I probably would wreck most new blue belts, right? So it's not very representative, but at least it gives you an idea, uh, you know? So, okay, let's, acceptance aside, like there's a lot of guys like me who've been training for a while, but on and off, on and off, or who might have changed clubs, or who might have stopped and then you know come back on and stuff like that. But you know, like some I've seen guys like ten years, like you know, who are still blue belt. But I mean, they're not really blue belt. Their their skill levels are pretty, uh, pretty deep, you know. So, but at least you got something, right? You got something. So, judo, same thing. Same thing applies. I mean. You got, um, you got brown belts who just don't want to get their black belts because they don't want to pay. You know, they just don't, like, they don't believe in it. They're like, nah, I just want the skills. I care nothing about getting the black belt. You know, because then I got to do the exam, I got to do the points, uh, I got to, you know, so they just don't care. But man, some of these brown belts who are like that, right? But they're very, very skilled. Like, they're very good judokas very high level, they, they contest like competitive black belts, uh, competition black belts and all. It's just that they don't care. Mm, and um, let's see now. Yeah, so that's for BJJ and Judo. Now for wrestling, the thing with wrestling is that there's no belts. So for everyone watching this video, there's no belts. So how do you know? How do you uh, know that if you achieved a good skill level, right? Now, here's the thing, good, compared to what, right? So you have to compare yourself to somebody to actually know. And that could be said also for, um, you know, um, judo and BJJ. Now, the way I would look at it, and this is gonna apply to judo and BJJ as well, is you have to compare apples to apples and oranges to oranges. So what that looks like in martial arts, <coughs> in wrestling, is that I would have to look at somebody who is approximately my in my division, my weight and my size, more or less. Well, size, okay, you could be a little bit taller, but my weight. And and the second thing is I would have to look at <clears throat> how many years he's been practicing. That's like really important too. Like if we're the same size and weight, more or less, right? but I've been doing it for two years and he's been doing it for 10, obviously it's gonna be hard to compare. Like, yeah, he's better than me, but that, even though he beats me, it doesn't mean that I'm not good, okay? So the way, but that, and that's why it's very hard to compare. So if you were to, if you were able to, to determine, to know uh, if somebody um, has the same weight as you, that's easy, you could just ask the guy, hey, you know, and like how much you weigh. <laughs> and then from there, how long have you been doing this? Like if you get asked him that question, figure that out, then you can kind of, you know, um, uh, pit yourself against that person and see how, how well you do, if that makes any sense. Because if you compare yourself with a beginner, of course you'll be better than him, you'll be good, right? 
Uh, but then if you compare yourself with a guy who has a lot more experience or like some kind of, uh, you know, high level competitor, well, yeah, you're not going to be considered good. So the term good itself, it's, it's a little bit um, like it depends, like good compared to who, right? It compared to, uh, I'm assuming we're comparing ourselves with other wrestlers, not just like uh, uh, people who don't even wrestle. But if you were to compare yourself with other wrestlers, I would say you'd have to compare yourself um, with people who are the same number of years, the same progression level, okay? So when I say progression level, I mean the same number of years that they've been practicing and the same weight, more or less, because weight does matter. So you would have to compare with yourself with those guys and that's why we have competitions, right? So if you're able to do competitions, then that's gonna give you a more accurate assessment, so to speak, of, um, of your, if, if you've achieved good skill levels or not. Like, I mean, if you win, if you get on the podium, that represents something, right? Podium, you have three places, four sometimes, like, oh, sorry, three places, top three. So, you know, right there, you could, you know, compare uh, depending on where, where you are, or even if you don't get on the podium, but there was a lot of people, like, like let's say there was 10 guys, uh, 20 people who fought, but well, where were you in, in, after the competition, where were you in the rankings, right? Were you 10, did you make the podium? Podium would be top three, or were you like number 10, number five, whatever, you know? So that would give you an idea uh, right there, and that would be maybe a more uh, accurate representation. Now, if you don't compete and you just wanna sort of figure it out uh, on your own at your club, um, Hopefully at the club, then you have a lot of guys that you, um, um, you know, have a lot of guys you could practice with, you know, uh, of varying, um, you know, progression levels and weights and all that. And then you can kind of compare yourself to those guys. Like that would be the only way to know in a sense, right? If you've achieved good skill level, but I would argue also that you kind of, you, you might know where you stand in regards to the people that you train with and that you you uh, you wrestle with, but you kind of uh, get a sense of it after a while too, what your skill level is, and a part of that is understanding of what your abilities are, what you're able to do, like your strengths and your weaknesses. When you start to understand what are your strengths, what are your weaknesses, and then you're able to also understand what's going on in a wrestling fight. Like you understand the rules, you understand like what the person is doing to you in the middle of fighting, you know what to do, you know? Um, you're proficient, like you understand what's going on. You don't necessarily know how to uh, maybe get the upper hand in that exchange, but you're able to um, understand, okay, this is what the guy's doing. Okay, I'm gonna try and get out of it. You might not, you might succeed, you might not succeed. And then if you're able to watch tape of yourself or, or watch a match and then analyze it to a certain degree, then yeah, I think that that would represent like a certain level of um, skill slash maturity slash understanding of the game. You know, it's a very hard question, man. So, you know, I made this video not thinking that, would, that, that I would have like a concrete uh, answer for you because I kind of don't but I wanted to just think out loud and then from there get the community to chime in and to, uh, to talk about it. So somebody suggested in the comments, well, competition, and, and I mentioned that. So guys, help a brother out. Le like uh, down below in the comments, uh, what do you guys think? Like what, uh, how do you know when you achieve good skill level in wrestling, you know? and. Even in in, uh, in in BJJ and judo, like uh, well, you know, you have the belts and all that, and blah blah blah. But in wrestling, more specifically, but if you guys want to talk about judo and judo and, and BJJ, that's that's great too. But how do you know? How do you know um, if you've achieved a good skill level, right? And of course, we're gonna assume that the skill level is like among, you know. Not, not for the streets or anything like that, because most people on the streets, like you train, uh, you know, three, six months, one year of anything, and you can, you can beat like 90% of the planet, of the people on the planet who don't train. So let's disregard the people who, <laughs> who, don't, who don't train at all and who, you know, you could easily take out like that. We're talking about, you know, 
in the lion's den, so to speak, right? So I can't wait. Let, like, I'm curious myself what you guys, uh, uh, because there's a lot of high level guys here. There's a lot of guys with a lot of experience, a lot of OGs and a lot of up and coming and a lot of guys with practice. So that's why, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I can't wait to see what you guys have to say in the comments, man. So thank you very much for watching guys. Uh, support the channel by liking, commenting, subscribing, click on the notification bell and sharing the video. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. And oh, of course you could hire me for coaching if you need help with your health and fitness. Like that's what I do. I coach people and I make YouTube videos and I train and I compete. All right, guys. Peace.